Hello everybody, this is the Tattoo Blogger here with you with a review for the Blue Security Retractual Cable Lock. It's going on Amazon for $12.99. Yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. And by the way, the link for this product will also be in the description below. And yeah, the nice people at Blue Security sent this to me for my friend and vice review. Let's look at the lock itself. Plasticky build, I mean... Everything is plastic. There's no metal at all except the cable and the wire. Feel pretty cheap. I don't know if I'll actually sit, like. I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually trust it. I mean, it will be great to like chaining a purse down to a chair when you're at a restaurant in case somebody steals it. But again, I don't live in that kind of area, so I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and see the manual, I guess. So yeah. Your basic, standard, non-helpful manual right here. Like, both sides look all the same, so let's look at here. Attention, don't forget your code, I guess. Yeah, that would be bad, wouldn't it? There's a side for, like, I think this is Chinese, and then there's this English. It gives you all this random thing, it gives you all this random stuff, so I already know, I'm just gonna explain how you do it right now. Reviewing the product wise, you can write like your name or something right here, I guess, in a sharpie, and then pulls out. It's yeah, not very long though. But I don't know how well you can see this, so this is not that long of a cable here, right here. Not very long. But it gets the job done. I mean, plastic, no metal at all. This is all plastic. Let's go ahead and actually just lock it up though. Because what we're looking for is actually the wire. So yeah. Starting off, you get zero zero zero. To press to reset it, you press this thing down. It's kinda odd. Press it down. Okay, like that. Until it shows up like that. So first, you were like this, but then you pressed it down. It's like that. Now you can change your code and let's just do Something very original. One, two, three. How about that? Seems okay. Pull this up. And now you can press down. Why is it not letting me go? That's weird. Okay, let's set this back to zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero. It's not even letting me press down. Yeah, it seems like the thing in there is very cheap in quality. Like, the build is not so great. Try it again. Pressing down. I mean, I think I just stuck got my cable stuck. That's really disappointing, I guess. Two, three, four. Can I pull out the cable? I'm still unable to pull out the cable. Let's look at the manual. Press the tapered end according to the arrow direction. Set the manual. Okay, this is. Done. I don't know what I did here, but try to flip the code. One, two, one, three. I guess is this gonna pull out? Nope, nothing. Okay, again, looking at like uh, one, two, and three. That's what they did. That's all they had. That's what I set it as, and I think that it's broken. This thing's completely useless now. I mean, Unless I can somehow figure out. I think it just jammed in there. That's that's the wire has no problem problem of coming out, it's just that it jammed in there. I mean this thing presses down okay too. So something must have screwed up. Okay, I've been wrestling with this for a while now, and I could see that the cable is completely jammed inside. I mean, I changed the code back to 000. 
Christ, that it presses down now. Like, everything's fine except the thing doesn't pull out. I looked at the manual, and yeah. Read number three. The lock can be. The lock can be. Okay, I can't. The lock can be used after pressing four and pulling the tapered end one. So you have to press four and one. Let's look here. There is no four. Four doesn't exist on this manual. So that's rendering a crap. I mean, I don't know how else to put this, but yeah. It simply doesn't even work. So, I don't know what they say, but yeah. This thing doesn't deserve a good review at all. I'm giving this zero stars because... My cable jammed. It was working perfectly well at the start, but now after I tried setting the lock, it just jammed on me. So yeah, that's incredibly disappointing. From their end, I guess. Because... I tried it and... It's already cheap quality, I mean... It's like, stab it down. It's such a cheap quality, I mean, it's... It's, I don't know what to say about this thing. It's complete crap. Don't waste your time or effort buying this. Okay, don't. It's there's no point. Thanks. This is the anyways. Yeah. If you want, I guess it's twelve ninety on Amazon. If you want to check it out, links in the description below. But don't just don't. Again, I'm sorry, but yeah, this product was not good. You get some good ones, but you always see some bad ones there. Some cheap company from China, I guess. But yeah, like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And feel free to follow me on my various social media links. I've, re I've reviewed other products, and they've all been better. They've all worked. So yeah, thanks. This is the Teshi Blogger. Goodbye.